Now, these shows are still running in syndication. Were you able to negotiate to get yourself some of that mailbox money? Yes, because um, I remember at the end of the show, when the show was over, they asked everyone to come up to the office and you can decide if you want a lump sum of money or if you want to, um, you know, continue with the residuals or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I had called my mother at the time and I said, mom, they want to give us a lump sum of money and then we can, you know, do whatever and we'll be finished with the show. That means if it ever runs again or whatever, we get no money. And I said, what do you think I should do? And she said, and I give her a lot of credit for this. She said, well, I'm not there and your lawyer is not there and do not sign anything. So I did not sign my rights away. So I still get residuals. Right. And that is very important. Great move on mom's part. Right, because we didn't know, we didn't know how syndication really worked. And, but she knew it was syndication, meaning that she knew that they would be running some of the shows. Right. But look at what happened in life. I mean, they got cable now. They got this. They got that. So it, you know what I'm saying? I would have been out of everything. Is it standard that they offer you the, the package, you know, the one-time payout or the residual at the end of the episode or uh, not, not episode, uh, at the end of the series? Or do they typically offer you that package at the beginning? At the end. Okay. It was all. It was at the end. No, what it I'm saying all, is that is that standard practice today? No, everything's okay. changed. We right. we came off of the I Love Lucy era. You know, we okay. came off of that old Hollywood. Right. See, we were like the, we were like at the end of the old Hollywood type of thing. They don't even offer anything now. They just barely offer. You know, they they offer you a, a payment for the show. But it's not like it used to be. Yeah. It's not like it used to be. I don't even think people would get pensions or anything now if they did a series. Wow. You and JJ played by Jimmy Walker. You guys are responsible for some of the most iconic banter. Yes. Ever in sitcom history. Well, I have to say I took credit for that. I started that mess. Yeah. I hit him first. <laughs> How did that happen? And then when I started doing that, then they got us going, just like that. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, is this something that you, you initially, like, like, actually started? Like, say, hey, we yeah. should do this. I did it. I hit him. Yeah. I didn't ask. I just did it. Because I know that I do that to my brothers. Shut up. Or, shut up. Yeah, I do that to my real brothers. So I said, this is real. This is what I do. This is what we do. How Don't you push you, how, yourself to play like that? Yeah. I mean, oh, well, that's real. well, me and my sister and brother, we normally fight. We, you know, we, we kind of like, our stuff always kind of escalated to weapons and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, friendly brother. And, the, and being that I was the younger sister, you know, yeah. I could get away with it. Right. You know. How were you able to turn that on and off though? Because, you know, you gotta say cut and then you gotta get back up for it, you know, and then, and you have well, to you know, uh, I, you know, I had a lot of studying and I learned that, you know, I learned how that works. It's a skill. It's actually a skill. Yeah. You have to learn how to um, jump into your character, understand your character so well that that when you're on, you're on. And then when you, when you leave your character, you're back to yourself. It's a, really a skill that you have to learn. Otherwise, what happens is if you don't learn how to uh, turn it on and turn it off, uh, you start carrying the characters with you. You know what I'm saying? And then you start mixing up yourself and the character. Mm -hmm. You know, your actions are not... You know, so it's really a skill. A lot of people don't think so. They think, oh, it's so easy. I could do that. I could do that. But, have, but if you have to remember those lines and do that same thing 10 times, can you do it the same way? 